I'm Ryan Hamilton, this is Vintage Alternative, and this is Rolling Stone Magazine from 30 years ago today. Soul Asylum, on the cover. Because in 1993, we all had this album. Not only did we all have this album, we all loved this song. Runaway train, never going back. Check this out. Lollapalooza 1993. Really cool photo of Angelo Moore from the band Fishbone. We've got Alice in Chains down here. We've also got the girls from Babes in Toyland. Let's talk about Babes in Toyland for a second. This album in particular. I love this band. Okay, so this is when Prince changed his name from Prince to just a symbol. What's really cool is to see them beginning to talk about this here in Rolling Stone magazine. So this is when it was new. Everyone was confused, nobody knew what to do, but Prince knew what he was doing and it was brilliant. Okay, now I'm extra excited because I just stumbled upon this. The New Faces in 1993, a band called Four Non Blondes. You know what song just popped into your head. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From this album. Great album, but because What's Up was so good and so huge, we really just listened to that. Oh my god. Did you guys have Comedy Central back in the day? Bill Maher, love him or hate him, his first show was called Politically Incorrect. This is an ad for a new show called Politically Incorrect. The show was highly controversial, but really, really good. We got a double page ad. Be the music. I love that this TDK cassette says best for CD, because this is when we all started making mixtapes. All my fellow friends from the 90s will appreciate how important a good mixtape was in your dating life. <laughs> Let's keep it going. All right, here we go, Soul Asylum. The crazy thing about Soul Asylum is that they were a band for a while before they got huge. It even mentions it here in the Rolling Stone article after 11 long years. Can you imagine? Runaway Train was such a huge song. Not only that, they had this incredible music video. I could do a whole other episode on that music video and the importance of it. Credit to Soul Asylum for not just making a regular music video, actually doing something that means something that became something important. And as always, eight CDs for a penny. And how can you resist? Just look at this music. Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, R.E.M., Stone Temple Pilots, Madonna. This music was all new in 1993. Think about that. This is stuff that's on classic rock radio now. It was all happening at the same time and you could get eight CDs, some people did 10, for a penny. I mean, it was a huge scam, but still, really exciting. Oh my God, look at this incredible photo of Scott Weiland from Stone Temple Pilots. This article is called Hard to the Core. Why? This is why. This is their debut album. This thing was and is huge. Let's just look at the track listing on this thing. Dead and Bloated, Sex Type Thing, Wicked Garden, and it just goes on and on. No Memory, Sin, Naked Sunday, Creep, Plush. This is their debut album. Sub question, if you had a choice, would you listen to it on cassette or CD? <laughs> Oh my god. There's an article about guys getting their ears pierced and how to do it. Okay, not just guys getting their ears pierced. We're talking about Lenny Kravitz, Bono, Perry Farrell. We all had our ears pierced in the 90s. Anybody my age or similar in age, you'll see the evidence of us having our ears pierced. It was a thing. There were certain rules that were supposed to go with it. They're all really stupid. But this article is showing rock stars who have their ears pierced and what you might learn from the way they have pierced their ears, their nose, or maybe their other body parts. Oh, the 90s. Oh wow, look at this incredible illustration of Bono. This is for the Zeropa album review. So I already mentioned Macfisto or Macfisto or however the hell you want to say it in a previous video, but allow me to just refresh your memory. Lemon. All right, let's check out the charts from this day 30 years ago. Janet Jackson holding down the number one spot, but just a few spots down we got Stone Temple Pilots. Yes, please. I love the mix of music in the 90s. The charts were full of pop music, alternative music, country music, all in the same place getting appreciated by the same people. I don't know what happened. I don't know when genre became so important and it wasn't okay to just 
love music. Let's check out the college albums chart because that's what me and my friends were looking at back in the day. Check out number four on the college albums charts. Oh man, that album was huge. This is my copy. Just look at this glorious album. And I wore this thing out. Why? Because it has Creep on it. Me and my friends had never heard a song like Creep. It blew our minds and we listened to it over and over and over again. August 1993. What a time to be alive. Oh, I'm supposed to ask you to subscribe or whatever, but I'm not gonna do that bullshit. So I hope you liked the video.